Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the final installment of ranking all of the final Ascension R in Fate Grand Order. Today, I have gone through and taken everything that has made it into the EX tier, the S tier, whatever we called it, and now we are going to rank those all against each other to decide which is the best of the best. So, on that note, you will see that the current rank that we have set up, it goes from D, C, B, A, and then the best. Only one thing is getting into the best. Only one. And that all of these, D is still the bottom of the EX tier. D is the very, very bottom of the barrel of perfection. All of these are amazing. All of them have made it up this far based entirely on their own amazing art. And uh, yeah, so we are going to finish the series up today. Uh, I'm going to really need to figure out what I'm going to be doing next week, considering I'm finishing both this series and then I'm finishing up uh, Sekiro on Wednesday. So we're going to need uh, new things to do. The worst of the best. Yep, the worst of the best, the cream of the gold. So. Final Ascension are always a 50 Me some are meaningful and add to their character or something about their real life counterpart, etc. Or just the most random thing that I have no clue. Right. So. We are going to break this down into what I what we think is the best standalone piece of art, right? So some of them made it up this far based entirely on the fact that it's good art and also there's like additional things to it. But I'm trying to find what the actual single best piece of art is for Final Ascension art. And so we've narrowed it down to 50 some <laughs> We've narrowed it down to 50-some ascensions. Anything in this list that is in the D tier... I'm just going to say this over and over again. Anything in this list that's in the D tier... Is still EX tier in comparison to everything else in the game. So, with that... Let's get started. Uh, I People are saying this is going to be a long stream. I don't even know if this is going to make the two-hour mark. Just because... We've already talked about all of these my opinions on all of these are out there i'm not going to sit and rehash them all because we will actually be here for six hours we're going to kind of speed through this to a degree and it's going to mostly be me asking you the chat for a democratic consensus on where things are and if i don't like it i will swoop in like a tyrant and place it where i want to regardless fair all right, cool. Let's get started. Starting with Sabres. Jill DeRay. Uh, this one, we did, we made the decision that it's phenomenal. This piece, this uh, final Ascension art goes hard as fuck. My first glitch stream, I'm here to make one argument an hour from now. Hell yes. Starting with something that go yet yeah, it goes hard for lore reasons, it goes hard for historical reasons, it goes hard for art reasons. It's really good. Yep, we have only the bangers. We have only the bangers today. And you know what I think that we do? Here's what I think that we do. Okay, I think that we reserve putting what we think is the best into the best until the end. Everything else that we think is a contender for the best is going to go into A. And then at the end, we can make the decision. That, you guys like that? I think that's a good I think that's a good way to mitigate this, the way we don't just throw something in the best and then call it there. Uh, so with that in mind, this one is a B, I think. I do love it. I do love the implications of it. Uh, I don't think it's a contender for the absolute best in the game, but it's certainly very good. So, for that, I'm going to put it into B tier. Next, Gareth. Sweet, sweet Gareth. 
Jekyll didn't even make this fucking cut. That man couldn't be on the best of the best list of anything. Alright, Gareth's is very good. It's very cute. The dog is insanely well rendered. I still don't understand. Well, never mind. I, I understand why she has underwear and not really a swimsuit. It's a Ghost and Goblins reference. I like the blue Hawaiian next to her. Uh, I like that she has the, uh, what are they called? The Infinity Stones in her bag. I really love her expression. It's very, it's incredible. The rendering is good. It's very, very cute. I love it to death. It's a C tier, yeah. While it is one of my favorites, and it is absolutely fantastic, it it's missing something to put it, like, above the best of the best. So I think C tier is fair. Why is, Gar why is Gareth called a dog or a puppy? Because she acts like one. Alright. And then, we only had three for the Sabres. Uh, we have Bird. A tier needs that X factor. I would agree. A tier needs an X factor. All right, I love the bird. Bird is great. I love the pigeons. I love the art. I love this artist's style so so much. Uh, the design came out great. This emphasizes a lot of things about Benny Enma that are great. I like that she's a saber. Her sword is nowhere to be seen here. Uh, it's adorable. It's very cute. I love it. Chat's already saying it. Yeah, C tier. I, I wouldn't put it into D tier just because I I appreciate a lot of what is done with the art here. It, this is it, this is where the uh, the Disgaea artist really shines as a creator as a as an artist because he's he has such a good understanding of color theory and making things work with one another. The framing of this is perfect, where the framing, like, the center of the frame is both uh, the cute girl herself as well as the onigiri that she's holding. <sighs> it's good. I, I think that, uh, I think this C is fair for it, though. And that's it for these savers. We're moving on to the archers. Nobu. Pain and suffering await you. Sora Shirokami. Sensei, where in the game can I find the part saying that Chin Shi Hong get to Chaldea by foot? Uh, I believe that's when you summon him. It, I think, I think that that's that's if you summon him before. Uh, you before you beat Lost Belt three. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. It's been a while since I've looked it up, but I'm pretty sure that's where it is. It's in his dialogue somewhere after you've summoned him. Okay. Also, thank you for the resub. Welcome back. Glad to have you back. Uh, if you will recall the Archer list that I did, uh, I made the comment that th this is one of my favorites of all time and is genuinely one of the ones I feel like could just be in an actual art gallery, like on a wall. Like th this looks like it's on it could be on canvas. It's phenomenal and the framing is perfect. It's such a it's such like a stark juxtaposition to like, how Nobu is presented in-game and in other content as well. Uh, it has a, the nice little nod to her being naked because of the, the Gouda Gouda bullshit. Uh, yeah, the flowers are really, really well rendered. Paco loves the color red. He loves the color red. 
And for that, that's our first contender I'm putting into A tier. All right, next up is Big Soup. Here we are. The corpse floating in the ocean after being killed by him wife. The arms reaching down to retrieve him. The look of the look of accomplishment on his face. The lighting is so amazingly done. Uh, I love that it's Okay, so here's something I think I, I neglected to uh, to note. Uh, when we did when we talked about this last time was that what's reflecting on the water uh, above him is the moon obviously and what is Artemis the god of or goddess of that's right she's the motherfucking moon uh, insane symbolism amazing art crazy textures his muscles still do not make any sense A tier Next. He died happy. He a did. Deer. Yeah. Let's get demonetized. Zenobia. Love Zenobia. Okay, let's try to leave the hornet to the side. Uh, yeah. I'll, aside from the ass, fellas. Yes, the ass is great. We're all of us are in agreement that the ass is great. It's very hot. The look back is very hot. The definition on the muscles are fucking wild. The texture of the chains and the ornamentalism of the like headdress and all of that is insane. Uh, it goes really, really hard. Uh, I think it's a. I'm, I'm going to say that this one is. Probably a C tier. Mm, I'm gonna bump it up to B because of the the back muscles. The back muscles really, really sell it. Like that, the attention, the attention to de to detail, I think, makes it a B tier. The only thing that makes me maybe want to put into C is that it's very obvious fan service, which I mean that can be like a minus point to it, but it's fine. I mean, I also love that they've really sold how the eyes are so like shockingly blue. Like, electric blue, almost. Oh, hold on. I have to respond to a work thing real quick. The difference between the texture and the ass is unsettling. I mean, no. I'm going to disagree with you on that primarily because your ass... If you have a full, supple ass, it's not going to have muscle definition like the back. Sorry. In case anyone's been wondering maybe why, like, content has been very slow, it's because, uh, even now, at 8 o'clock at night, I'm having to respond to work-related messages. It's been busy. It's graduation season, fellas. We are in the... It's been, it's been busy. <laughs> so, I apologize. More stuff is coming. Uh, alright. Speaking of horny stuff, uh in terms of Zenobia. Let's talk about another archer. Nightingale. <laughs> so... Fellas, I genuinely think this might be the first D tier. Because while I, for one... Oof, oof, oof. Am absolutely here for fishnets. Like fishnet leggings. Uh, and sexy nurse stuff. 
like it's great it really is the rendering is phenomenal but i'm going to i'm going to have to say other than other than that it's you know is she an intellectual i mean that's a word for it i i, th I think d is the is the fair pick What that syringe do? We so we know what that syringe do. She's got that uh that that Halloween skin. Well, skin, you know what I mean. All right, old man gaming. Ptolemaios. Happy Grandpa. No, not A tier. I, I I'm refusing A tier on Happy Grandpa. No, no, all of you know. He is having the time of his life. The rendering is really good. I love this artist. Uh, it's great. It's phenomenal. It really is. I can't, in good conscience, put it in the running for best for for best piece of art. Unfortunately, like okay, do you genuinely want to know what, what like my one complaint that is keeping this out of that is he has no teeth. That's my one thing is keeping it out of A tier, is he has a lack of teeth. He has a lack of teeth, and his mouth also just kind of, like, looks like... He does? I mean, I guess he does. I guess that I guess that is teeth, but the way how it's drawn makes it look like it's something else. Know what I mean? Like I didn't even register that those were teeth at first. It feel it feel it feels weird. Regardless, B tier. Oh, and just uh, just so everyone is aware, these the ones in their individual tiers uh, are in no particular order. These these are just being placed in order of me getting to them. So if one is higher, like J Jill's is not better than. Ptolemaios and Gareth is not better than Benny. These are all considered equal in my mind. Fair? Fair. Okay. Alright. Psyka. I love this one. I love how cute this one is. I love that she's eating the big onigiri. I love how well it's rendered. I like her outfit. I like that she's so happy. Other than that... Like, I, I do. I genuinely love this. I think it's a, I think it's a D tier, though. It's a little... It is... For, for being in the best of the best, I'm going to say it's a little bit basic. Know what I mean? So, much like how... Nightingale has the one thing going for her. Psyka has the one thing going for her as well. So I'm going to put that there. It's too Hoyo for me. I think it's fine. I, I, I love this art. I really do. It's fantastic. It, it's deserving of EX tier, but it is not deserving to be the best of the best of the best. All right. And with that, we are done with archers. Moving on to lancers. I have, did I have? No, I did not. I had four Lancers. Uh, and starting off the running, we have Don Quixote. Don Quixote. Uh, they say a picture's worth a thousand words. And this is absolutely one that uh, has that sentiment to it. It's very storybooky. It's it's a perfect. This is like a perfect like end of the anime, end of the manga like shot. This is a perfect conclusion piece of art. Yeah, the art is phenomenal. The vegetation's good. The castle in the background is good. They went all out for Dulciana. Like I mean, the little like nicks in the armor. 
the the penmanship it's just it's just all so good yeah that's an easy a tier This is the type of picture you end a light novel volume with. Exactly. Pain and suffering await you. Guess who's back? Back again. Welcome back, Tig. How's it going, homie? 23 months. Jesus Christ. Well, I'm glad to have you back, man. Hope you've been doing well. All right. Lancer Rioma. Uh, I appreciate the yin yang thing they've got going on here. I really like how glowy Oreo is. Uh, I love the frog. I love all the detail. I love how it is. I will never understand how Paco is so good with like golds. Like his gold coloring is wild. Happy married couple. Actual like marriage picture. I think it's a B tier, B or C tier. I'm gonna say B. It's good. It, it's it's you know missing an X factor for me, but it's still insanely well done. All right, Ben K. The standing death of Ben K. Incredibly famous uh, motif in art already. The constant arrows just littering his body, the blood streaming down his legs, the fact that his fucking grippers are holding onto those rocks for dear life, and yet the fire inside has yet to go out. This is basically his death, also, free feet. Yeah, Ben K's fucking awesome. This this is j this FA. I remember when I first saw it, I thought it was incredibly out of place for being in Fate Grand Order because it was too good. That makes sense. It's so different from everything else. Yeah, yeah, it's an A tier. It's a pretty easy A tier. That's a that's a strong contender. All right, our last lancer, old man Vlad. Why not S? Uh, we'll we'll discuss the S tier when we get to it. Someone in chat can fill you in on that. All right, here he is. Relaxing. On his bed? I believe that this is a... I still think this is kind of a moon cell thing. It feels like a proper, a really nice portrait. I love how huge the fucking moon is. Uh, a moment of respite. I like how his eyes stick out. Is this Wada? This is Wada. Yeah, it, it's it's D tier. <laughs> I'm just gonna say this: Vlad Extra's design, in my opinion, is kind of weak. I don't know. I, f I feel like there, there, there's more that could be done, but his overall design, I think, is a little bit weak. Why? It, it, it just feels... It feels too... It feels too much. It, it feels like it's trying way, way, way too hard. It's like, we, we get it. He's the Impaler. That said, I do love this, this art piece, though. It's great. All right, moving on to the assassins, we have five assassins. And starting off the assassins, we have Nidocris Summer. I'm 
the final ascension art that can get you demonetized on YouTube for too horny. The lighting is good, the implications are good, the fucking rendering is good, the back muscles are good. I love her look back with the eyes, it's super, super cute. Our ally, absolutely. When you said he said that this list would go fast, I was not expecting it to be this fast. Oh yeah. Gorgeous but basic C. That's kind of where I'm at. I'm with, I, I think this is a solid C tier. It's missing. Uh, it's missing a kind of X, a, a super X factor, but I think C is fair for it. And yet, I can't stop staring at it. All right, moving on. All right. Phantom. Uh, the implications of phantoms are really good. Uh, the giant evil claw is really good. The, I'm still not over the fact that you can kind of make out like fucked up eyes in the back of this thing's head. That's enough. I'm at the gym. People are looking. That's okay. Don't worry, hey, if you keep going, if you keep going even when you're looking at this stuff, uh, people will give you respect. My source is that, trust me, bro. Uh, it's good, I think this is a C. I wish that there was maybe a little bit more going on in the background. I kind of like that it's like a faded, fucked up, like, Polaroid, but, you know. I think C is fine. I'm just going to preemptively do this for you guys. I think Carmilla's is a D tier. Well, I do love it. And I love the framing of it. And I love how her eyes pop so hard. Uh, it relies a lot on kind of the horny factor. Uh, you know, I don't know. I, f I feel, I feel like this it could, have been, but not him. It is not fair. it's not fair, but yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like this could, that this could have been maybe something different. I'm going to say something that's going to sound kind of fucked up. I feel like it would make more sense if it was a female that she was stepping on, given that, you know, it's Carmilla, notorious lesbian Carmilla. You don't have to worry about her. She doesn't like men. She likes women. So yeah, uh, I, I, I think D tier is fine. I T should be me. <laughs> well, those artists don't give a fuck about sexuality in either direction. You can find any any character in Fate, you can find their hole being filled by something or someone. Unfortunately. That's news for me. You didn't know that Carmilla was lesbian? Carmilla's entire legend is that she's ba her entire story that she is based on is the fact that she is a lesbian. Alright, let's look at this thing in full. Yeah, this is a. Uh, this is the cover of a manga. What the hell is it using? It's a. Uh, it's a gun with an axe head on it. Yeah, I think that is a standalone like piece of art. Uh, this one is phenomenal. Absolutely incredible. Like, okay, say what you want about, like, this, right? 
sure. Say what you want about this. This is so good. I love this. I love that it's kind of washed out with the colors, too. It fits so, so well. Uh, that's an eight. That's an eight tier. 90s grunge album. It, no, it looks like it could be... A, it looks like this is a cover for Trigun or something. Like, Tez shows up as a villain for Trigun. Alright, Yon King. Speaking of sexuality, the Yaoi Man. Uh... Cool pose, glowing arm, amazing, like, rendering. It really gives the feel for the, like, I'm gonna Here get you. the fist. Yeah. It's fantastic. It's incredible. It, it At the end of the day, it is a cool pose of the glowy hand D tier. It's like if you take a screenshot of Goku charging up and you were to make it one. It's like, yeah, it's cool and it's really, really awesome. However... That is all that it is. So even though I like it, I'm going to put it there. Yep, moving on to the writers. Nah, we, I doing. we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six writers. Starting with Anne and Mary. Ugh. Don't mention Goku, I'm still sad. I think that the ideal thing that we do is to uh, remember the memories. Preserve the memory by discussing them. Uh, I love this art. Again, I love this artist. I want them to do more stuff for, for Fate. Because every time this guy makes a character design, he cooks super hard. Like, every time it goes crazy. Uh, did I see the news about the cartels? I did. That's not real. Uh, I think C tier is fair. Yeah, Toriyama died. Toriyama, Toriyama passed away. If I do the 50k thing, do this, does the stream end? No. I mean, here's the thing about the cartels in Toriyama. Uh, the fact that it wasn't cancer, it was a... Uh, what was it? It was like a hemorrhage or something. Was it a pul... Was it called pulmonary hemorrhage? No, it, it was... It, I don't believe... Brain hemorrhage, that's what it was. It wasn't... It was not cancer, no. Uh, the thing with uh, Toriyama's passing and the outpouring of people on the personal and on the governmental scale, like was it El Sal was it El Salv El Salvador that came out and like made a public announcement uh, about the mourning of the death of uh, Toriyama? I know China did as well. Uh, I just want you, I just want you to think about that. Two countries. Two, one of them, a global economic powerhouse, making a public governmental statement addressing the death of a guy who drew funny yelling cartoon. It's, it's crazy. Like, I mean, you don't even have to be a fan of anime to, to like, or... And Dragon Ball or anything. Like, I mean, most people know who Goku is, like, in the United States. Like, I mean, when I was growing up, a lot of people, like, if they didn't know anime, they would say, like, you know how I make, I do the thing to make uh, people upset, where I just call all, vo all Vocaloids Mikus? People I knew growing up would just call anime characters Gokus and Narutos. Or Narutos. Uh, I'm not going to give Toriyama all of that credit for making it acceptable in the West. He definitely, he definitely was a a uh, 
a stepping stone in that. He helped to pave the way. I'd say other things like... Po I, I, if you want to know what I think is actually the one that carved it out in the West, I'd say that was Pokemon. But, I mean, both of them, like, definitely took off. But the thing is, just like, you know... Dragon Ball was re was it was relatively niche for a bit, for a while. Uh, Pokemon exploded in the West, and this isn't supposed to be a competition. I can already hear angry YouTube comments being like, "You don't know what the fuck you're talking about." I was like, "Motherfucker, I lived through it," but you know, my local library my local library stocks all of the Dragon Ball, all the Dragon Ball to Dragon Ball Z manga, and I read through all of them growing up. I would just sit in the corner of the library and read all of them. Good times. All right, Columbus. Uh, Pokemon had the advantage of being marketable to both genders, not to say girls uh, couldn't like Dragon Ball, but it was harder. I mean, it, it's it was it's it's marketed more towards a a young boy audience. Like that—that's the target demographic. That's not to say that other people can't get in on it either. But that—that that was definitely the target demographic. Uh, who are the girls? I believe that they're her—that they are his boats. Uh, he turned his boats into waifus. Uh, God, I, I feel so bad. I don't remember my American history, fellas. Yeah, La Nina and La Pinta. Because, yeah, then the Santa Maria is his uh, noble phantasm. Uh, I think B tier. I, I love this art so much. It's great. It's so different from everything else. And it so perfectly encapsulates what Columbus is all about. Saw so Japanese gotcha without bunny girls? Hell no! Uh, next was Ty. Alright. I think Ty's is a B tier. It's either a B or a C tier. Maybe a C tier. It might be a C tier. Well, I like it. I like that it's a reflection of his legend. Uh, I love the art, and I love how well everything is rendered. It's amazing. Uh, feet A tier. No. <laughs> no. The Magnum Gong. Uh, B, but he's so hot. He is. He's a hot guy. Uh, sure, B's fine. I'm good with B. Uh, speaking of Toriyama... Fucking... This Kintoki pose is straight out, straight up, like, a, a Toriyama design. Like, how he would draw people riding motorcycles. Like, with that hunch like that, you know what I mean? Also, what's up, Origin? How's it, how's it going? Hopefully you're doing well. Uh, it's good. Yeah, Toriyama's mastery of vehicles. Mmm. That man. Uh, I love, I do like this one. I think it's probably a D tier, unfortunately. Nobody ever got back to me on whether or not this engine is real, realistic. I'm just going to put it into D tier. It's good. It, it is missing a little something. That jawline, it is a, it is a good jawline, but I think, I think D tier is fine. Canus. Uh, did I post in? No, I'll, I'll talk about that later. Uh, Canus is good. I it's no, it's not a. 
while the rendering is really, really good, and I really like this that they're just pouring the the water over their head like that, which is really, really hot. Eh. Yeah, the shadows are good. The attention to detail is good. The glisten is really good. I think... Okay, where did I put... I think that this one is, yeah, same as Nito Chris Assassin. Alright, next. The only- I think the only Takeuchi design to make it this far. Is that right? Is this the only Takeuchi design to make it into the EX tier? Honestly deserved? Speaking of cool vehicles. Uh, the extra, there's a lot of extra class. Uh, the rain is good. The water is insanely well done. The bike is fantastic. The pose is fantastic. Uh, the, like, s the smoke and steam coming out of it is really good. The bike is better than Kentoki's, absolutely. I like that she still has the mop. Lighting is good. Yeah, it's a B tier. I think B tier is fair. Alright, now we're moving on to... Is she not freezing? I mean, it's a summer event. Casters. Durats. Uh, one of my favorite bits of re yeah, post the rats. No, here they come. Uh, yeah, the mouse house is pretty good. The, yeah, the originality is really there's B for biased. Uh, maybe B for biased. I mean, I, they're right. Like th this is the only Final Ascension art that is like this, and for that, I really respect it. I like the nice little nod that it is to um. Uh, learning with manga, where it's just they keep feeding the master until they become massive. Uh, what is that? Oh my god. Oh, but yeah, I like all the individual rats that you see along here. I like the giant cooking operation. I like that there's just so much, like, little detail going on around it. I'm, I'm a big fan of the fact that there's onigiri in here, even though it's also just, like, a thing with tea. I like that the onigiri says no rice, no rice. Whatever the fuck that is supposed to mean. I really like the warning poster about the cat. Exactly. Like the, the more you look, the more little details you see. It's it's great. If I was going to be truly biased, I would put it into A tier, but I'm going to put it into B. I wouldn't even say that it's low-end art. It's just not... It's it's very stylized. It's, it's significantly more cartoony than other art in Fate. All right, Mr. America. Edison. Here he is, projecting a disco ball out of his chest over the American flag as he solemnly looks on. It goes crazy. Does that even belong in EX in the first place? Strong disagree. Again, with things that could be in an art gallery, Paco never fails to deliver. He's mourning the loss of America. Uh, question, why is he a furry? Uh, Metro Goldman Lion. Uh, C tier.
You forgot to take into account that Klidge is American. You're goddamn right. I bleed red, white, and blue and don't see the doctor. Uh, she looks so good here. She really does. Like, it's, it's fan service for sure. Uh, but the look back, the smile, the way how she's, like, I like the, I like her outfit. The glistening of the gold is really good. It's really, really fun. It's really, really cute. I'm thinking that this one is, yeah, a little bit basic, though, so... C or D. On, honestly, I think this is like this is very reminiscent of the Nightingale one. I think D's fair. Alright. Merlin. This one's very strong. This one is very strong. My granddad worked for MGM. Uh, the 56. So I told my dad about Edison. He apologized to a photo of my goddamn. She full copy chart. Uh, the yeah, the art is. Oh, you said cock wizard. I heard gorgeous art, but I guess we all hear what we want to hear. Yeah, the details are good. The lighting is insanely well done. Uh, the backlighting is very good. I like that he's subtly pulling the sword out with the one hand and balancing the staff in the other. I like that you can see his noble phantasm in the background. It almost looks like the world is on fire behind him. Speaking of Merlin, I tried to roll for this motherfucker today with my 14 tickets that I had. And then a singular multi that I had saved up. And you know who I got instead? Fucking Lancelot Berserker. And all of the CVC CEs. I will never get Merlin. Absolutely never. Put this shit... Though, this is B tier. It could be A tier, but I think it's B tier. I thought you had... No, Merlin hates me. Merlin knows I'm a sucker for Buster install shit, and so he avoids me. He hits me with that... Zanen! Like, oh, goody. Great, thank you, buddy. Uh, speaking of... Speaking of shit, and backlighting, uh, woo! Arazanen! Are Lost Bell 6 spoilers cool in chat? No! Uh, yeah, this is woo after being finally done justice. I appreciate, I like how they've done the gloves so that they kind of like, you know. They meld very well with her actual swimsuit. This is how Wu should have always looked. Uh, it's great. Uh, it's D tier. It is. It is just a sexy pose. And though I love the, I love the lighting, which is why it even made it up into EX tier. The lighting and the art itself is phenomenal. Uh, it is just kind of a sexy pose. I'm gonna put it there. All right, Miu. Pain oh. and suffering await you. An anonymous gifter gifted us up to Dandy Flower. Thank you so much. Please be sure to say thank you. All right. So, Miu. Uh, I'm still not over how fucking amazing the background of this is done. Like, say what you want about Miu as a character, sure, whatever. I'm not getting into that at all. The art alone is really, really good. It's very conservative with how it's done, so it's not like fan servicey, which is great. Uh, the background is so insanely good. 
the clothing is really good. The outfit, like the fashion is great. Oh yeah, no. Everything that everything that is here, everything that is here is here for a reason. It's it's amazing art. So again, even if it's in D tier, it's still better than 300 other pieces of Final Ascension art. We found it. The only good image to come from Prelia. Yeah, right. Uh, I really like this art. It's a B tier. It's so un incredibly well done. All right, Cersei, the bird. Uh, I do love this. I love the art. I love how the hair is. Uh, there's 50 some of them here that were in the EX tier. I'm a big fan of the expression. I'm a big fan of the heels and how she's posed. Uh, I think I said it before, my one uh, complaint with this FA is that her wings are the her stage three wings, which I don't like. But otherwise, I really like... This is the... Uh, Cersei is the, uh, the tuna artist, right? Yes, okay. That guy, that guy's got, like, mastery of, like, hair flow and fieriness down. So that checks out. Uh, yeah, I think D-tier, though. I think D-tier is fine. And off we are to the Berserkers. We're on to uh, a character that people were actually not happy with uh, that I put, put so high. This is the one I think I was called biased the most for. And you know what? That's fine. I was told it is just another sitting one, which completely neglects the composition of it all. And, you know, things that, uh, things that I think people don't notice on a first glance are things like, you know, you can see, the, you can actually see the hands of the ghost on the top left and in the like the middle right, like you can see them slowly, uh, like actually like creeping towards her. I'm still a big fan of the fact that the only true uh, color in in this uh, FA at all is her eyes are slightly red. Yeah, all the details are very small and simplistic, much like a tea ceremony itself. As someone who's worked a lot with charcoal, this is insane. Exactly. A tier, the monochrome style is beautiful. It's almost a painting. Again, yeah, that's what that's kind of where I'm at. This is another thing that I this is another one that I feel like, much like the Nobunaga one. Who is she and why am I feeling so scared? This is Senno Riku. She comes out this year on NA. Uh, she's an AoE Quick Berserker, 5-star. Yeah, the long hair shadow of Komahime is an amazing touch. Like, there's so many details that the longer you look, the more you see. Uh, it's A-tier. The person who said that this should have been lower has no concept of wabi-sabi. Old man. God, I'm still not over how good this one is. God damn. Yeah, I think that just because that's my immediate reaction, it has to go into A tier. But like... Well, your dad's right. Your dad's based as fuck. Yeah, Okita's always been there. She's there with him, but it's just like... How well the hair is done. The individual rings of, like, mail on his gauntlets. 
the sparks coming off of what looks like lanterns just flying in the wind. It's so... It's so good. It's so amazingly good. I thought that that was a burning building. No, this looks like uh, ceremonial lanterns. That's why it's like individual circles. That's how I always interpreted it. Yeah, no, that that that's phenomenal. I think that, again, because of my immediate reaction being God motherfucking damn, it's gotta be high. Sticking with Gouda Gouda. What's the thing in front of them? I, I didn't. I have no idea. All right, Hijikata. The me when I get you, CE. Yeah, Mr. Pickles. Uh, I love the pose. My man is one-handing a goddamn musket, and he's reeling back on that katana to cut your head off. Uh, the pose is good, the framing is good, yeah, the gun is good. I love his how fucking insane his expression is. C tier. All right. The Musashi. Sorry, work. Yeah, be the American the Japanese think that you are. C tier overrated because of horny. You see, I'm gonna strong disagree with you on that on your reasoning. I agree with you on your placement. I do think it's C tier. Uh overrated because horny, absolutely not. Uh it's C tier because it's amazing the art is amazing. Koyama pulls this shit off. Uh, the idea of, like, actually doing well-rendered tan lines that correspond to her outfits uh, is... In, it's wild. You don't see that shit ever. Yeah, the sky itself is really good. Uh, yeah, the flow is good. The jacket coming off is good. It's just... It's, it's, so, it's so solid. Plus, she's just, she's just so pretty here. There's a lot of attention to detail. However, yeah, no, that that's the thing. You, the immediate viewer is going to see one area in particular the moment that they get this max ascend. Why not be on par with Nito's? I believe Nito is C. Yeah, Nito is in C. So much like Nito, C tier. Is the background a real photo? That's the thing, though, is, like, I don't think so. I think that that's... I think that's drawn. I'm pretty sure that's drawn by Koyama. The only part that may be fake or may be real is the water. But even then, it's like... I don't know. Yeah, no, it's it's good, 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 great detail. Not even good detail, great detail. Fantastic, love it to death. Moving on to Penth. I mean, that that is probably how he did it. He probably did trace like an actual picture that he had, but you know, tracing landscape and then using it in your art like that is something that every manga artist ever does. All right. One must imagine Panth happy for once. Fate fans love tracing, don't you know? I mean, Fate fans certainly do. Uh, yeah, I do like this one. The I I, lo I am still not over how much I enjoy the eyes, just being filled with unending, unbridled rage. 
just a never-ending torment and berserkerness. And yet, she clutches a flower. Uh, it's good, C tier. It's missing an X factor. I think it's a C tier is fair. Uh, where's my man's? Where's my man's Angie? Good old Mori. I love. Born a less human. Yeah, exactly. Hey, wait, hold on. What is that? What is that meme? Fucking. You're running out of. You are running out of. It is what it is. Is would you like to continue? Uh, yeah, Mori's is very insane in a great way. I love how his armor is shattered. I love that he's coming at you. My type. Uh, the additional blood splatter all over Feet his my body husband. is great. Uh, the detail that his hand is, that they're, not his hand, there's just a hand flying in the top of the you frame. You say this guy and you think, yay, this is a berserker. Yeah, he is definitely one of the Berserkers to ever Berserk. I don't know. I... The one thing that I think is maybe keeping it at a B tier for me is the fact that it is just kind of... It's an action pose. It's an incredibly solid action pose, but it is just an action pose. Right? Okay, I think what a lot of people forget with Mori is that Mori was a husband, and he was also- he had a kid. Did we- did he have a kid? I know he was- I know he was a husband. I think he was actually a pretty decent husband, too. He's a great son. <laughs> this guy's a dad. This guy gets more pussy than all of you, chat. How does that make you feel? Honestly, don't feel too bad. I mean, look at him. He fucks perfect. Uh, you know, I think B tier's okay. So you're saying he's a Dilf? Absolutely. Speaking of... Duryodhana. Didn't he, like, kill soldiers who stopped him from- yes. But that, that wasn't his wife. That was a random soldier. This is what it looks like. This is how Origin looks at me anytime he sends me money. Do it. Roll the gotcha for my amusement. I dare you. I want to see you scream. I don't know the lore. What is he holding? He got that eyes and look though. He does got that eyes and look to him. Uh, so Duryodhana in Legend played a, a rigged dice game with the Pandavas, and that's the he's essentially like coercing you in this to play that rigged dice game where he's going to win. It's maybe the most famous anecdote about him. I'm not sure because I'm not well versed in the Mahabharata. Though I am getting there. I am reading. <laughs> Get this. Uh, I like Get this us. one a lot. It's C tier. And then for our last Zerk. We have Wife. Now, I, I'm going to say this right now. I think this one goes into D tier. Only because this one this one has a requirement as to why it made it into EX tier. 
and that requirement was the fact that uh, Sigurds existed, right? Yeah, one must imagine Sigurd happy. I mean, look at him. Look at what he. Look at what he got. And so, while I'm willing to uh, be like, yeah, the the Sigurd combination with her puts her up to EX tier for sure. Uh, I think that because it requires additional uh, content to be that high, I think D tier is fine. It's still a great piece of art, but I think D tier is perfect for it. Oh, Summer Crim Summer Crimhill's gonna go crazy. The Rio sprite is very lovely. She's so happy. Look at her. And then Sigurd is over here just like, yay! It's me wife. We have one... No, we have two rulers. No, we have three... Hold on. Let, let me sort these by class really quick. Ruler, Avenger, Foreigner... Uh, Alter Ego, Foreigner... Alter Ego, Alter Ego... La Bistia... Uh, foreigner... Okay, there we go. Dolman and Tiamat should be together. I will keep- I'm not letting Dolman near Tiamat. You're right, Tiamat is not a foreigner. She's an alter ego. I'm, still, I'm, gonna, keep, I'm gonna put Jufu as fodder between them. Alright. So, one of the things that blew my mind when we did the research on this... Please, do we even play FGO? I, yeah, nah. I gave up playing FGO, I just talk about the art now. Uh, now, for an easy A, especially with it being a reference to a real Sherlock show, I mean, that's kind of where I'm at with this, yeah. Uh, the fact that it is referencing something in real life and it did it with impeccable detail is absolutely amazing. Uh... It's framed like an actual painting as well. It's it's great. Oh yeah, no, I, I'm 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 maintaining what I've said before. That's an A tier for sure. All right. His great and magnanimous emperor. I still really love this one. I really do. It is a little bit busy, which I think is going to keep it out of the A tier. Uh, but I love how it flows. It flows so, so good. And the subtle, like, transformation of his body into the, uh, into the scenery. Yeah, I mean, it really does. It, it does frame him as an actual emperor of Earth, or of a realm. And plus, uh, this is one of my favorite color combinations. There's a series of Yu-Gi-Oh cards uh, that came out a little bit... They came out in Japan, and but before they came to America, I was kind of out of playing Yu-Gi-Oh called the Gustos or Gusto uh, cards. If you look those up, that exact like color combination is my British favorite thing ever. Was elementary, my dear. Like, those emerald and jade greens mixing together is so good, and this is very reminiscent of that. Not so much the emerald aspect. I mean, you got some of that on the forehead, but otherwise, you know. Uh, I think B is good. B is good. Uh, Samba Ketz, I think, is D tier. It's gonna preemptively do that, but let's take a quick examination. Yeah, I think D tier's fair. Uh, the the little details are still great. I still like that. I love the outfit. I love how happy she is. It makes me very happy to see her this happy. Uh, this artist, the this is the artist who draws the uh, Latin American uh, 
<laughs> this is the guy who this is the motherfucker who draws the Latin American gods. He does a great job with it. Uh, I think D I think D tier is fine. Well, it's a step above all of the other art. I don't think it goes above the best of the best. I think the best cafe should be Euclid since you are our best girl. Yeah, wait till I whip out uh, the the hidden Eric PNG and just put that in uh, best tier. All right, and that is that. We have two Avengers, two Avengers. Salieri. Burn the past. Orchestrate the future. Gaslight. Gatekeep. Kill Mozart. Uh, this one's great. Again, it does rely on there being knowledge of the... Uh, of Mozart's and it being a somewhat of a, um, a reverse mirrored version of that to be uh, at its max potential, but even then alone, it's just a really good piece of art, so I think it's C tier. It's, it's a very interesting uh, concept. Question, he looks familiar. Uh, somebody said Arson from uh, Persona 5, and I'd say that's, a bit, that's pretty accurate. Random ass question, but does anyone know when my oh no boots rerun is? Good question. I don't know if she's getting a rerun anytime soon. I know on NA we've got the next event is uh Tesla Fest. Alright. Nito Chris. Mansplain, manipulate, manslaughter. Yeah. Mansplain means man explaining, by the In way. The player song song. Uh, I, I adore this one. I really do. Once again, the. It's just so well framed. It really is. The pose is good. The way how the eyes are set is so good. Her fashion is impeccable. And then the framing of just behind her is the true god of the underworld. Watch Pain it. and suffering await you. And then, of course, there's the, there is the underworld like directly Tansky below mommy. her. Which is, it's great. It's so, so, so good. Uh, Nasha Libre, Faith, thank you for the resub for 18 months. Welcome back. Glad to have you back. Can't remember her third ascension for her FA? Nah. He will fuck you up if you dare to hurt her. Second ascension is peak. Third ascension is very good, though. I like that she's got the, uh, the Millennium Puzzles. All right, time for boo, boo Biebs. So I do still love this one a lot. I really do. It's such a comfortable... Well, as comfortable as you could be with a, a demon in front of you, but a, a very comfortable setting. So why is Moon Cancer a class in Caldea? Because that's the only way how BB could make it. I don't play Fate Extra D. It's EX tier, but it's not high EX tier, so C. Uh, she's not near Lathotep yet. Uh, it's got good details. I like the attention to it. I think C is fair. C is good. Next, Moon Cancer. Kiara. So we do we do have the sexy pose, right? 
which in theory this should put her on par with uh Nito Chris Assassin and Musashi Berserker, right? Right? The fact that they actually put the the castle town behind her in the clam is such an incredible attention to detail that I think most people are not going to see is so good. So I think that bumps her up to a B tier for me. I still think that's absolutely genius way to incorporate the Shen's legend. So while she's mirroring the, both the Little Mermaid in a sense, but also like Aphrodite. Was it Aphrodite who was born from the cum in the ocean? Or is, that, or is that painting... Is that a painting of Venus? Is this supposed to be Venus? Who is also Aphrodite? It's the same shit. Who cares? Yeah, no. Y'all get what I'm saying. B tier. Well, Venus and Aphrodite are the same person. The Romans just took it. Alright. Uh, we actually should do the alter egos first because that's the right order of things. That is, that is the proper order of things. Yep, okay. Aphrodite playable when? True! Demeter playable when? Uh, let's start with... Not Manu. Doman. The amount of detail in Doman's sexy, stupid Doman. Yeah, right? The amount of detail in Doman's Final Ascension art is crazy. I forgot to move Bunyan? Come play with the big kids, Bunyan. You're about as big as the kids get. Like, I, I adore the detail in Bun- not Bunyan, Jesus. And Doman's art God this this I just I will never understand why he's naked Oh my god woof woof wood A Yeah I think A is fair Burn it burn it with fire It's such a weird and creepy final ascension art for such a weird and creepy guy Oh, and, uh, coming this year, fellas. Maybe we should do another, uh... Maybe we should do another, um... Costume list. Alright, next is Jufu. All right, Jufu's is great. It really is. The framing is amazing. The color choices are absolutely incredible. I love that she's got that glowy ass eye. Doman avoids me like the Her... plague. I always try to get him, but never got him. The background to her is so good with so much going on and like so many references to things. Oh, it's good. It's 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 a uh, it's a B tier. Uh, it's not A. I think it's missing a little something to be an A. It, this it's very similar to Ptolemyos for me. All right, Mama. As a bonus, Mister Goat, you should show that Hello in C E with her and consort you by Rejab. No, I don't want to get banned. All right, Mama. God, I love her. God, it's so good. The art is so good. It's, it's, I don't know. This is one of those ones where I feel like simple kind of trumps a lot of things. Like, it's very simplistic, but in a way that is very, very charming. 
and that kind of gets the point of the art across. The eye, yeah, the eyes are great. The drink is great. The pose is really good. The su like the really gentle smile is good. Oh, we start in the next generation of humanity in this bitch. Going into A. All right. Uh, Manon, aka Bazit. Here we go. My argument for Bazza, the background resembles the room she used as a base in Hollow Ataraxia with minor differences. Her character growth to become more relaxed is shown by her loose tie, and that she was the end that she was wearing her overcoat without her suit jacket. She described her dress sense as a shield of masculinity at the start of Hollow Ataraxia, so this pose is her showing off her femininity, while she being uh, her uncomfortable, not the dress Mon enforced her into. Respectable argument. C tier. <laughs> I respect what you. I, oh my Pain Jesus and Christ! Await you. Bribe the best to exile. Do it again. I can't. I don't take bribes. But thank you for the ten gifted. If you received one, please be sure to say thank you. Thank you, Havenwing. That's incredibly generous of you. Just want to say, in relation to Ozzy. Nito Chris went from Emoto to one is sad. I know. But yes, he doesn't you. take bribes. I tried it many times. It's true. I don't. I don't do bribes. But yes, thank you. Thank you for the the gift. That was very kind of you. Even if it means that I'm going to keep her in a seat here. Look, it it is very much like a sexy pose done by a woman in a suit. Which, if you want to break it down to its bare bones, that's what it is. I do appreciate the Hollow Ataraxia reference and that it does show a lot of character growth with her. I think that's great. I really do. So, I think C tier. I, I think C tier is good for that. The funniest shit is when asked about why Bazette Sanro's ascension is a wedding dress, he said, I just wanted to see her in a wedding dress, probably the best occasion to give her one lol. And he's real for that. All right, you're a little you're a little early, space cop. Super bunion. Once again with the Rio art. Uh, it's fantastic. It really is. I love how happy she is. I love how happy all of them are. <laughs> Except for CIA woman. I love that the hole in the moon is bear shaped. Absolutely. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I look. People rag on Rio's art style for the servants because it is very different from everything else, and to a degree, I get it. But his art style is so fun. It's just a fun style. I said my piece changed the world. My final message, goodbye. All right, thank you. <laughs> yeah, J. Edgar Hoover, that's who it is. Did I see the comic of Bunyan going to Bunyan High? No. That sounds insane, though. Uh, I really like it. This is a B tier for me. It's super solid. All right. Perfect song for moving on to Foreigners, the Goofy class. MHXX. C tier. This fits into the same category of ones that are like 
office lady space camp during her summer break. Yeah, this this is the same as the like the summer Musashi and Nito Chris one. In that it's fantastic. It's absolutely amazing. There's so much to love about it. It kind of relies heavily on the sex appeal for it to be great. YD tier. Yeah, real. Orange Maru tier. Uh, C tier. Alright. Child. God, I really like this one too. A tier my boy deserves the universe. It is a really good one. It really is a really good one. Behold the anti zirkers Yeah, it's a really good one. Yeah, no, that's an A. That's that that's a straight up A tier. That's fantastic. Yeah, thank you, Noko. Fucking amazing job. Uh, next is Koyan of Dark. Speaking of dark, give me one second. I want to I wanna, I wanna check something really quick. Wait, what is this? Oh. No. No. Fuck it. No, that's going to give somebody a seizure. I'm not doing that. Where is my thing? Sure, Minmo. We're gonna we're gonna do Minmo. I just want to I, I just want to check something. Ah, uh, okay. Then that, that requires more setup than initially thought. All right, we'll fix that later. Uh, Koi and Dark. B tier. Whereas the other ones very much rely on just the sex appeal and, like, you know, fun background, the amount of extra detail put into this one, I believe, makes it worthy of... of, uh, B tier. I don't think they are beauty marks. It looks like there's, like, confetti shit, like, falling on her. Because, like, you can see it around her head. See too much stuff? I disagree with that. It's it's bit it is busy, but it's very controlled. She has perfect uh, control of everything going on. Don't care whether it's Tamamo or Koyan, would multiple either way. Agreed. Wolf. Scott Fools, welcome back for 13 months. Glad to have you back. Thank you so much. How you doing? Uh, next one's an A tier, by the way. Just preemptively it's telling you It's a pretty that. good over I A T in our dears. And then here we go. Van Gogh. Painting. Covered in it. My eyes hurt from Miss Caster tier list. I, he put Yui into EX tier. We're all good. Yeah, genu genuinely peak. This one's phenomenal. So much referential stuff. It feels very, very natural. She's very cute in it. The way how this artist managed to emulate the, the art style of Van Gogh for a lot of stuff is crazy. A tier. 
All right, now we have a our only pretender in Bob. It's good. My annual greeting. I forgot. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> uh, the expression is cute. The the boob squish is really fun. I think the it might be a D good tier. Witch has is dead. Evil witch has rise up. Real. I think this might be D tier though. I think D tier. I like it. I don't love it. I like the uh, xie gang white color focus. Oh yeah, I mean the the is there a word for like three for just three colors? It's not tri it's not trichrome. Whatever. Triochrome maybe. Regardless, it looks good. It does look really good. I mean again, these are all EX tier. But you know, I think it's uh I think the others have a leg above it. All right, and then last but not least, we have your one and only representation from the Beast class. Trichrome, trichrome is correct for art. Damn, I'm good with that shit. Draco Nero. Draco Nero is, of course, very, very good. I gotta say, though... Nero may cry. I think it's a I think it's a C tier. I love her to death, but I think that this is a C tier for the EX tier. So it's the tied ribbon on her hand. Yep. Uh, I think C tier is fair. Uh, once again, I would like to reiterate that uh, the, the the tiers are, are in no particular order. These are just how they have been placed uh, by how they were. All right, fellas. There's your list. Now we get to vote on who is the best. From our... What is this? 16? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. My From our 13. Is on Voyager. Well, here's what we're going to do. Here's what we are going to do, fellas. We're gonna do it like this. We're doing this round robin style. Well, not round. We're gonna do this tournament style. So here's how we're going to do this, all of you. I'm going to run a poll. Of, we're going, because there's 13, we'll do groups of four.
No, let's do groups of two. I'm just worried it's gonna take forever if we do groups of two. Yeah, let's do groups of three then. Fuck it, we ball. Between Nobu, Orion, and Dawn, pick one. And then I'll, I'll do this extra thing as well where I will make my own executive decision on where I believe something should go. Like what I think the personal best is, but I'm going to let you all decide first, all right? Oh, and if you guys do manage to tie it, I'm going to pick between the three. Just so you know. So if it is a tie, I will be the deciding factor. I'm going to run executive decision. Nobu is currently holding the vote at 38%. Alright. Alright. Nobu has beat Orion and Don Quixote. Next. No, 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 filibu no filibusters at all. Ben K. Tez. Or Riku. Cast your vote. Riku is currently holding the line with four, five votes, fifty-six percent. Tez in uh, second place with four. Not many people. Not much love for Ben K. Okay. Uh, Tez with forty-one. Okay, it's an even forty-four to forty-four on these two. Oh, now it's forty-fives. Riku pulling ahead by one. Okay, by four. God damn. Oh, Riku's really, really taking this race. Yep, she's uh, looking like she's maintaining that at a 56% vote ratio. Make that 57%. It went up even more. Uh, I think that it's, I think it's going to be Riku unless there's a major upset with eight with more people showing up to vote for Tez. All right, that looks like a Rik a Rikyu W. Uh, so then next, I can't vote to summon mobile. So good luck, everyone. Damn. Next, we have Kenpachi, Sherlock, and Nito Alter. Poor Ben K, two votes by one of each Uchi. Yeah, right? Glades, there's no Kenpachi. Is his name not Kenpachi? Am I dumb? Am I being stupid? Don't answer that question. It's Shinpachi. I'm fucking dumb. I am thinking of Bleach. Guys, we were talking about Bleach on the fucking podcast. That's what it was. Damn, Nito Alter has got is killing it. Jesus. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'll, I'll announce that stuff. Uh, uh, projects that I'm working on at the end of uh, this segment. All right, Shinpachi and uh, Sherlock beaten by Nito Alter. All right, and then this, this next one has four participants. 
we have Doman Tiamat Voyager and Van Gogh. This one is hard. This one is very hard. There's a lot of really, really, really good pieces for this. Tiamat takes the immediate lead by 11 votes. Oh, but Go is catching up, slowly but surely. Do it for mommy. <laughs> the chat is making chance. And who they believe if you in. vote for Tiamat or a simp. Make your voice heard. You the people have the have the opportunity to make out who is the best. Go is go is a little bit short. She a little bit short. And the winner is Tiamat. Go go. Rats. All right. Semifinals. We have Nobu versus Tez. My son wins in my heart. Oh, yeah. Dolan with the two votes deserved. Damn. Nobu and Tez. Who has the superior final ascension art right now? Love Nobu, but I gotta give it to the Wu Man. Wait, Tez, Riku won the pull. Wait. Oh shit, you're right. Hold up. Yeah, that's uh. I'm gonna report my pull for fraudulent claim. I fucked up my notes here. Oops. Dumbass. Yeah, I know, I know. Let me set that up again. Sorry. A poll is already active. Thank you, Twitch. I'm going to vote for this one. Average glitch behavior. Yeah. Nobu and Rikyu. A Guda Guda battle. Alright, cast your vote for Nobu or Rikyu. Well, Nobu won that last one by a significant margin. Damn, Nobu really- Jesus, she just pulled ahead like a goddamn racehorse. Oh, but Rikyu's not done fighting. It's going hard. Nobu's catching up. Nobu's... Okay, Nobu's pulling ahead again. Oh, it's almost even. It's almost neck and neck. It's still anyone's game. It's tied. Oh, Nobu pulls ahead. It's tied again. Guys, please, for the love of fucking God. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be 50-50. And the winner is Nobu pulling ahead. All right, semifinals East Division. Nito Chris Alter versus Tiamat. A battle of the MILFs. Damn, yeah, yeah, this is almost another 50-50 straight up. Nito Alter pulling ahead pretty quick, though. 
Mama believers, who's out there rooting for they mama? Because you pull up Nobu's FA, I need to see why she's winning. Sorry, mommy, but I like Yu-Gi-Oh. Understandable. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, it's looking like Nita Walter is beating Mama's ass. All right. I don't like this picture. It's smack or a max me. <laughs> and now for the grand finale of who you all think has the best final ascension art. Mommy isn't angry, just in, disappointed. In the game. Nobu or Nito Alter cast your votes now. Jesus Christ, Nito Alter just shot to first. I don't know if Nobu's winning this. The Nito Alter uh, fanatics are crazy. If you're over in another tab, now is the time to, to come over and place your bets, make your voice heard. Glitch, can you put uh, Tez in EX for a few seconds so Klitsch, I can grab can a screenshot? can you put Tez in X for a few seconds so I can grab a screenshot? Yeah, sure, here you she go. She have that Yogi Ares. We told up Nito with the greatest underdog story of all time. Yeah, I'm thinking that Nito Walters got it. You like Nito too. Nito Fanatic here, reporting for duty. Baz, not Tez. Oh, I see. Yeah, here you go. Office Lady Supremacy, I take your screenshots now. Three, two, one. You got that? He said. He said Tez. No, he did say Baz. Fuck. All right. Well, voted by you, the community. Nito Chris Alter has the best final ascension in the game. That was the decision made by you as a group. And you know what? I don't disagree. In fact, I want I want it to be known right now. This is gonna almost seem like I'm being petty. My personal number one is Nobu. Bro, I didn't think Nito would be in the top oh. of the Shisen even, but she won holy well deserved Nito well deserved. Yeah, no, she deserved it. Nobu was my the undead vote done her. Nobu was legitimately my number one. She is my number one favorite Final Ascension art. Understandable. Easily. Uh, but you know what, Nito Chris Alter, absolutely a very, very close second for me in my own opinion. And so I'm like, yeah, no, it, I totally get it. Nito used the necromancy to make the dead vote Kappa. Never speak to me or my son ever All again. All of you, never speak to me or my son again. Not nah, Voyager got pretty far. A, cov a Coven second place. Yep. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Your best of the best, both decided by the community and yours truly. Uh, final Ascension Arts in the game. If you're over on YouTube, hi YouTube, uh, why don't you come over here and... Uh, participate in these live at, at twitch.tv slash glitch radio if you would like you could also let me know who you think has the best final ascension art in the game down below in the comments well we finally made the chapter weeks and weeks of tier list glitch can finally play fgo on stream again on monday we are going to be doing a tier list of the costumes <laughs> no uh yeah i've got uh i've got stuff uh I have an opening uh, for a lot of things coming up. Uh, 
I'm going to be going on to my spring break because the kids are all graduating uh, this week. So I'll have a little bit more of a relaxed time for a bit. For fuck's sake. No, and then I'm, I'm finishing up Sekiro uh, on Wednesday. I want, I want you guys to know, if you're not in the Discord, this weekend I wanted to just run through Sekiro. Because I feel very comfortable with it now as a game. And I beat the entire thing in less than six. In six hours, 29 minutes. And so I'm possibly, next Wednesday when there's a national holiday, uh, I may or may not run a stream that is just beating the entirety of the game in one sitting. Suggesting a week off on tier... Yeah, that was a joke. I'm not going to be doing more tier lists uh, in a bit. Uh, we're going to be playing some actual FGO, just like hanging out and farming, because Tesla Fest comes out, so we're going to do some farming there. Uh, yeah. Uh, if you're over on you, if you, yeah, I think I already said, if you're over on YouTube, hey, come check these out. Uh, anyway. For anyone who's curious, uh, Jordan, Cam, and I have started a project together that will also be going up on YouTube and other places once it's come to a little bit more fruition. And, uh, yeah, we're doing... I think I've talked about this in the Discord as well, and maybe a little bit here, but we're doing an anime podcast. Yep, the Promare thing that we're going to be doing tomorrow is for that project as well. Uh, it will be through Discord because... It, and it will be a Twitch watch-along because there is not a good site I could find that will let me watch it. But I'm pretty sure I can just watch it through YouTube. I can rent it on YouTube, so we're just going to do that. Yeah, no, it's fine. I, I just It's going to be broadcast through the Discord, so you have to be in the Discord. By the way, join the Discord. Yeah, no. How the, does um... a group gunpla build stream with beer and embarrassing stories sound, Mr. Goat? Well, uh, well, YouTube, thank you for watching the tier list, and if you want to participate, come to Twitch to hang out and watch this live once again. Thank you for watching, and see you next time for the custom tier list. Bye bye, your favorite fox, Tammy. All right, yeah, that'll, that'll be the end of the uh, that'll be the end of the YouTube video right there. Thank.